Okay, let's talk a few minutes about time value of money. So um, the time value of money concept recognizes that a dollar today is gonna be worth more than a dollar a year from now. So if you, let's say you had $100 today, if you went out and spent that, you would be able to buy more today with that $100 than you'll be able to buy, say, in five years from now if you have $100. Therefore, projects that promise earlier returns are gonna be preferable to those that promise later returns. So the time value of money concept is a critical factor in many management decisions. So in addition to its use in capital investment analysis, it's also used for personal financial planning, such as retirement planning, business valuation for purchasing businesses and financing decisions like borrowing and lending. Invested money earns income over time, giving money time value and cash received sooner is preferred over being received later. Now, again, I think this is probably one of the more important concepts that will relate to your personal life or you can take away with you um, after finishing managerial accounting or a personal finance class. So time value of money factors. There are several key factors or uh, terms when discussing time value of money. So the principal is going to refer to the amount of the investment or borrowing, and we state that the principal as either the single lump sum payment or as an annuity. Now an annuity is an, a series of equal payments over time. So for example, if you wanna save money for a new car after college, you might decide to invest a single lump sum of $10,000 in a CD. However, you might not have $10,000 to invest, so you might say, well, I'll invest funds as an annuity depositing $2,000 every year into a bank savings account. So an annuity is a stream of equal installments made at equal time intervals. And an ordinary annuity is an annuity in which these installments occur at the end of each period. Something called an annuity due is an annuity where the installments occur at the beginning of each period. So we typically will use ordinary annuities, but you can make a um, change that in Excel rather easily to change it to an annuity due if you're using Excel to make calculations. The number of periods is gonna be the length of time from the beginning of the investment until termination, all else being equal again, the shorter the investment period, the lower the amount of interest earned. And then the interest rate is the annual percentage rate earned on the investment. It's always given as an annual rate. So here's an example where we are uh, have what's called simple interest. And simple interest means that interest is calculated only on the principal amount. So you're not going to earn any interest on the interest that you accrue. So compound interest means that interest is calculated on the principal and all the interest that has been earned up to that point. So compound interest assumes that all interest earned will remain invested at the same interest rate, meaning not withdrawn and spent. So in this particular example, you can see we have $10,000 that was initially invested and in year one, and they earn 6% on that. So every year they're gonna earn $600 on that particular investment. So if they leave it invested for five years, they will make $3,000 on that particular investment. Here's an example where we have a compound interest, the exact same thing. We put $10,000 in initially, we earn 6% interest. So we're gonna assume that the interest that we earned gets added and we will now get to calculate interest on the principal plus the interest earned. So now we'll earn a little bit more each and every year on our money. And so if we use compound interest instead of just earning $3,000, we would earn $3,383 or an extra $383. Now the formula, unfortunately, for time value calculations involving compound interest doesn't have to be quite this difficult. So we're gonna run through some of the calculations as we go. So present value, you'll hear a lot about present and future value. So present value is our current time period, meaning right now. Future value will be at some point in the future. So we can calculate both ways. So we could say, I wanna have $500,000 in my account when I retire. And then we can work backwards and say, well, how much money do you need today then? Or how much money do you need to put in the bank every year in order to reach that 500,000? That's called uh, present value. Or we can 
try and figure out what the future value is going to be. What if I have a thousand dollars today I want to invest and I'm going to invest that every year for the next 10 years. Um, what will my future value be? Or maybe I just have $50,000 I'm going to invest today and I want to take it out in five years. So there's a lot we can do with present and future value. So the, I guess you could say the old school way of calculating present and future value are to use tables. And um, publishers are still um, tied to these tables. So I'm going to show you basically how to calculate or do some examples with the tables first. And then I will also attach some solutions using Excel at the end of this play. You can watch after this playlist continues. So what students seem to have the most difficulty with is determining which table to use. So we have four of them. Present value of a dollar, which you can see here. Present value of an annuity. So if I want to know how much I will have today, then you want to use the present value tables. Present value of a dollar will be for a one-time payment only. Present value of an annuity is if you have a series of payments, which you see here, of equal amounts. So for example, let's say you're going to be getting $200,000 in five years. Basically, how much is that worth in today's dollars is what we're asking. So if you can earn 6%, and let's see here, we've got 6%, and we want to go down to the 5, and you can see the factor here, 0.747. So you're going to take that number, 0.747, and multiply it times the future value of 200,000. That means in today's dollars, at 6% rate, that is worth $149,400. We could also say, well, let's say we're getting $1,000 for five years. What would the present value of that annuity be? So in this case, again, we want to go uh, interest rate 4. So 4%, go down to 5, we get 4.452. Multiply that times $1,000, and that tells us it's the equivalent of having today in our pockets $4,452. Even though it will be worth more in the future because of inflation, today's dollars, it's 4452 we also have tables for future value, future value of a dollar, future value of an annuity. And again, the future value of a dollar would be a single payment. Future value of an annuity will be multiple payments. So this says, assume you plan to save $2,400 a year in an IRA when you're 22 and ending when you are 52. So for 30 years, and you're gonna assume you will earn 10% interest per year. So if we again go to our annuity table, because we're going to make $2,400 a year payments every year, and we take the 10% and go down 30 years, way down here, we get 164.494. Take that factor, multiply it times the $2,400, and that means at the end of 30 years, I will have 394,785.6. Here's another example. Let's say you won the lottery and you have $250,000 to invest for 20 years for retirement. So uh, they ask what you will have accumulated. <laughs> Needs to be corrected here. We got to fix that. But um, if you invest at a 10% interest rate. So if you put in $250,000 today, what is it going to be worth at the end of 20 years? And then go to the 10% column, go down to the 20 years, 6.727, and multiply that 6.727 times the 250. That means at the end of 20 years, your $250,000 will be worth $1,681,750. Now lastly, I, I mentioned this briefly, you can use either the table or Excel. I really prefer Excel, it's pretty easy, it's quick and it's actually more precise. Um, some, depending on what homework management system uh, you use, you might be able to use either one. So you pay, I would recommend paying close and careful attention. 
uh, to that. But if you want to hang on the next video, I'll show you how to calculate present and future value using Excel.